Hi, in this video, I will show you how to use one of our photogrammetry tools, Texture Blended Extensions. This feature seamlessly extends a scan trunk or a custom made mesh by using a texture to bridge the mesh to procedural geometry. This allows for speed tree wind and randomizations to be applied to otherwise stagnant models. First, I'm going to import my mesh. I'm going to go to the Meshes tab, click the plus icon, and select my mesh. Once that's done, I then import the textures by going to the Materials tab, click the plus icon, and select the Diffuse Color Texture. Now, if it's named correctly, the rest of the texture should load in in the correct corresponding slots. If it doesn't, you're just going to have to assign them individually. Next, you also want to make sure to assign the mesh to the material. This way, the material and mesh are linked together. Now that I have my assets imported, I can create a mesh generator, which is a generator that makes mesh assets as a part of the model. I'm going to add a mesh generator by right-clicking in the Generation Editor. Go to Add Geometry, the Photogrammetry group, and then selecting the Mesh option. And here's our mesh generator. Next, I select the mesh generator, scroll down to the mesh group, and then I set my material to the imported trunk material. With that all set up, I can now create a texture blended stitch, which is a banded geometry that will join the mesh with a procedurally generated branch. First, you need to add a stitch generator by right clicking, add geometry, and selecting texture blended extensions. Now we have a stitch in the branch generator in the generation editor. You will notice that the stitch may appear in your viewport as a gray circle with red error lines. This is because it is just placed in the default position and needs to be moved into a desired spot. The lines showing red are rays that have been cast out from its current position and haven't hit any geometry. As I move the stitch to a better position, the color of the ray lines will change. Orange is close and green means your placement is good. I am moving the stitch by pressing the translate keys, W for moving and E for rotation. Now the height property increases or decreases the height of the stitch, and the clearance property adjusts the stitch's radius size. When the stitch generator is selected, you will see this rectangular band in the viewport. This is a preview of the final texture. The texture shown inside the band is created by merging the trunk mesh texture at the bottom and the texture of the generated branch at the top. The two materials are blended together and the look can be controlled by these texture blended properties right here. I'm now going to assign a tileable texture to my branch. To get an accurate visual of how your texture blend will look, you need to set the resolution of the two textures to the highest quality. I do this by setting them to original. This is important because this is the resolution your textures will be merged and exported as. Okay, just going to fiddle around until I get a blend that I like. And that's good for now. So under the blend region controls are the band region properties. The geometry group properties allows me to control the amount of triangles the band has. As you can see, when I increase the segment values, the number of linked segments in the band will go up. Now we export the band texture. I've chosen my resolution to be 4K for this demo. And now I'm gonna hit the generate textures button. This will export your two blended images as a combined final image. Once done, go back to the Materials tab and import the texture band that was created. And we now want to assign the band material to the stitch generator. Something to keep in mind is that if you move the stitch or edit the trunk in any way, you'll have to regenerate a new texture. 
Now here's a version of the model I already applied multiple stitches on, and I'm continuing to build off the mesh using procedural branches. Well, that is it for this video, and thank you for watching.